You just gotta be a mistake to do that. Like, I don't think, like... I don't even people think, like, if people are really confident, I don't think they still do that. Like, yeah. it's just a mistake thing, or maybe just, like, a bail thing. I don't know. And Truth is gonna need to be that confident to beat uh, Felgod, I think, just to make the upset here. I I'm hoping, because, like, uh, Felgod versus uh, Mistakes Bail doesn't do the best. It's I know he pretty. does have some wins, but... Um, nah, he definitely has, like, those uh, ZSS counterpick with the... Bayonetta kind of mm -hmm. wins, you know what I mean? Like when um, Mistake's kind of wishy-washy with it. But, yeah. you know, he's been dominating the region with uh, Bayo, so like, uh, Falgod's oh. been feeling a run of it. <laughs> there, geez, 2%. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Fog big stuff. Falgod's on a tear. He really just wants to two-stock and get it over with. This thing, when Falgod is like playing super confident, he's actually kind of scary. Like, you kind of have to... Kind of to scare him into playing bad. <laughs> I've talked to him before, and he definitely has this mindset of like, even if he's losing, he's like, he snaps into this mode where he's like, I'm gonna win this. Yeah. And then that's where you have to really fear him. Yeah, exactly. Cause like, that's the thing. Like, Ryu's one of those characters too. It's just like, make a comeback out of nowhere. For sure. Like, he's super good in the meta. Yeah. Like, I always say, like, someone like Sheik, like, really good character amazing character like with all the options but like really suffers just like from the fact that there's rage in this game you know what i mean yeah exactly. and re is the opposite he, he just benefits so hard off of it yeah yeah and like he's gonna benefit right now because he's in kill for some <laughs> oh that down smash yeah the bayo down smash of the ledge is like a scary mix up but falgod's not gonna fall for it yeah and it's funny because like falgod really uh oh jeez that's pretty crucial there oh but, that yeah. might have been time for a punish but Wow, he's actually been wasting it the whole game. See, that's the thing with Truth that I've seen in the past. It's just that his witch times aren't really on point. I feel like that kind of lowers his bail in terms of skill compared to the other one. He falls into that trap of like, um, I need to feel safe, so yeah. he uses it. But you know, like the best thing about witch time is that it's always there, and your opponent's always going to fear it. Yeah, exactly. So they, so they have to play around it the entire and time. Sometimes you don't even have to use it for them to be scared of it. You know? Exactly. It's just one of those things that they just know. It's kind of like show you. Mm -hmm. It's basically like a trap card where you know your opponent's never allowed to overextend. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah, and I, I, I've talked to Truth about it before, and he kind of says that like he uses Witch Time less as a punish tool and more as a landing option. Which I don't think is optimal. It's, but not, it's not where it shines the most, yeah, in my it, opinion. No. It, it's just his preference, I guess, in the yeah. move. But he, he could be utilizing it in other ways, because it's a tool, right? Yeah. yeah. He just got to look and... Oh, Jesus. He's, he's got quite the string going on. <laughs> yeah, Falgod. Playing, really, uh, playing really well. Yeah, he's just overwhelming. Like, oh. Bayo the type to get like those long combos, but Rio's just been... There. Oh, oh, jeez. Bail Bat within is just... Bail like, privilege. <laughs> that's like a, such a crazy thing, man. Every time I see Bat within at such a crucial moment like that, I'm just like, wow. <laughs> like, if I got hit that side B perfectly, he knew the classic Bayo is going to go right there. Yeah. Hit the back air. Missed the back air first game. He's like, I'm not going to hit that. I'm not going to miss it again. Yeah. Oh, and big percent. That's what Ooh. I'm talking about. He's getting these long chains. Okay, this is a... That's a pretty terrible punish. Yeah. Let's be honest. I feel like you meant to do jab one and to maybe like jump and then do an aerial. Well, I know that um, like up tilt is probably the best option there. Yeah, yeah. But um, if he tried and he did the jab one, he might have tried to do an up tilt after the jab one and just got out the full jab. But like he was at like almost eighty percent, so I feel like if you know if you just jab one or just up tilt to one and charge it and up smash completely, you might have just died anyways. But really big edge guard coming from Bla yeah. ooh, that was insane. Yeah, that was he actually kept him off like stage for a while. Like, yeah, God thought he could recover immediately yeah. and Truth just denied him. Yeah. That's the thing, um, Falgod, kind of, like, when he's confident, I've noticed that like, he does kind of tend to side B a little. He's like, oh, you won't punish this. Yeah, definitely. And then just gets punished super hard. And then I guess now he learns. But uh, last game, Falgod, like, while well, he was commentary with, uh, on commentary with me before, he was talking about how his ledge trap game is what is, like, he, he has a lot of pride in it. Oh, I wa yeah. I want to see some, some good stuff off the ledge, but... Uh, he misses there. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, commentator curse and whatnot. Oh, and uh, use the witch time with that Shoryu. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was. Eh, one of those questionable down Bs again. Yeah, yeah. It's unfortunate. Yeah.